Hi everyone, it's Eli here. And since you guys enjoyed my video on how Wuthering Waves runs on an iPad 9th generation so much, I decided to make a second video talking about how Wuthering Waves runs on an iPhone 15. Now rejoice guys, this video is a lot more positive than the last one. It runs significantly better. Um, but before I jump into all of that, um, since I have all you Wuthering Waves friends here, I want to make a quick little announcement. So in the next week or two weeks, but in the next few weeks, we are going to be starting a brand new series, which is going to be delving into the lore of all of the Wuthering Waves characters. We are first going to be starting with Baizai, as me and Chris personally find her in an incredibly interesting character. But after that, we are going to be releasing polls weekly, where we're going to give you guys like maybe four options of a character, and you guys are going to pick which one you want us to do next. So you guys can all sit down and look forward to that in the next few weeks. Um... But for now, let's jump straight into this video. So, to begin, Wuthering Waves runs significantly better on the iPhone 15 than it does on the iPad 9th generation. It's incredibly smooth, it doesn't have any crashing issues, it runs really, really, really well. Um, and I got the idea to download it on my iPhone because Chris mentioned it to me and he was like, why don't you download it on your phone and see if you can play it that way? So I was like, huh, okay, let me try that. And I don't know why I didn't do it sooner because if I had done it sooner, I would have not had any of the issues that I discussed in the previous video where I couldn't do like sections of the story due to how badly the game crashed. If I had just installed it on my phone, I would have been able to get through those with ease. Um, so, so to give um, a quick little bullet bullet point list of all the things that does well, extremely well in this game, graphics. Graphics you can put into high quality. You won't have any major issues. You will experience a little bit of overheating and battery drainage, but those are probably the only two negatives that I can say happen with like the actual gaming experience um but you can have your you can have everything high resolution high graphics high you can have whatever you like on the highest setting and you are not going to experience any major hurdles um so that was absolutely brilliant for performance um you don't have any stalling you don't have any crashing you can go and do some of the heaviest combat quests in the game and you won't experience any um, issues whatsoever. Um, so that's brilliant. Like, I'm like, I'm sold. I'm sold already. Um, I just wanted to be able to play the game. Uh, so I, I was sold on that. Um, but yeah, overall, it was such a positive gaming experience. And if you are someone who's like, has an iPhone 15, but also has an iPad, and you're trying to decide whether you want to like download it on like on your iPhone or download it on your iPad. I'm going to lean more to your iPhone. If you have one of the higher uh, phones from, I'm going to say the 13 to the 15, I'm going to say I would download it on one of those. I don't know how it works. I'm going to say 12 and under. I did have an iPhone 11, but I recently sold it. So I'm not able to really, I wasn't able to get any um, insight into what that would be like but i know for the models 13 and up i've heard very positive things and obviously i have 15 so um it works significantly um better on a 15 since it's one of the latest phones um but yeah overall really 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 positive experience one thing i will know is that obviously the screen is not the biggest it's not the biggest so when you're holding it if you have like larger hands um i do think you might have a bit of issues with controls and like pressing buttons and stuff um i'm quite lucky because my hands are quite small so i didn't really experience too much issues with that i did experience some issues because obviously like trying to like get the right angle and stuff and i was hitting attacks and that was a little bit difficult so if you do have larger hands I would just be kind of weary of that, that it may be a bit difficult for you to like use the controls considering the size, the the size of the phone. 
Um, but that's that is really the only major thing along with the um, overheating, slight overheating, not too bad, and the battery drainage. Those are the only three things. But I think those three things in comparison to having the entire game crash are not that bad. Um, so I would recommend downloading this game on the iPhone 15 if at all you could. Um, so yeah. That is, that is all I have for you guys today. I hope this video gives you a little bit of insight into how uh, Wuthering Ways runs on the iPhone 15. And if you have any other questions for me down below, I will be responding. Um, if I missed anything, let me know. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys all have so much fun playing Wuwa. It is such an amazing game and I am so, so happy that I can finally get back to playing a game that I love so much. Um, but... I'm still here praying for the day that they make it work on my iPad so I can play it on my large screen and be like, oh, my pretty character is on a large screen. So, <laughs> yeah, let's hope that maybe, maybe in the future, um, Kuro Games will finally give us the crashing update that we've been asking for. But that's all I have for you guys, and I hope to see you all again next time.